Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's Tuesday review video, I want to talk about this. This is the CoverGirl Clean Invisible Concealer. Now I did review another CoverGirl product a few weeks ago and that one turned out well, so uh, I was at Walmart the other day and CoverGirl was on sale, so I thought I would try something else from the brand now that they've sort of rebranded and they're cruelty free and all that. So this concealer was about $5 and I decided to pick it up. Mine is in the shade 115 Fair and it's just sort of your standard Whiskey bottle here with a doe foot applicator. So let's take a look at it on the CoverGirl website. Invisible concealer. Little flaws, why let the world see them? With invisible concealer, it won't. Is that proper English? I don't think so. The sponge tip wand lets you apply the light cream formula easily. This blemish concealer blends in and virtually disappears, letting you face the world beautifully. So this concealer is not necessarily meant for the under eyes, uh, but I am using it under the eyes in this video, and I have also used it on blemishes and stuff recently, and I find that it performs the same in both areas, both on zits and under my eyes. And that performance is, you know, it's properly named Invisible Concealer. There's not a whole lot of anything to it. If you're looking at me right now, and you're thinking, wow, Abby, your under eyes are much darker today than usual. Uh, what's going on? I am wearing this concealer. This concealer, doesn't cover a lot. It's like this really like thin veil, if you will, of color over an area, but it doesn't really actually neutralize anything and it doesn't cover anything. It just kind of does nothing. It's like putting on nothing. And not only that, but I find even on my super duper hydrated under eyes, it sort of collects and sits sort of dry and sort of scaly looking. And I just overall feel like there are a bajillion better concealers on the market. And even though this concealer is only about $5 Canadian when you can find it on sale, I just feel like your money is better spent elsewhere. You can probably spend a couple of dollars more on, I don't know, a Maybelline concealer and it's going to give you better coverage. I just feel like this concealer is on the best. So I was curious and essentially it was a little bit of waste of money, but sometimes you find gems that way and this time I didn't, so whatever. Better luck next time, I guess. So anyway, I know this video was really quick, but I just wanted to tell you basically that I bought this concealer. It's nothing. Don't get it. Save your money. Buy a different concealer. I'm not shutting off CoverGirl as a whole. I really liked that eyeshadow that I tried a couple of weeks ago, but this to me is more of what I imagine CoverGirl to be, like just really mediocre, just like nothing. I'm sure they have other things that are much better. This is just not one of them. I'm interested to try more of their foundations, their newer foundations and face powders and that sort of thing. Maybe not concealers, maybe I'm gonna give up on that a little bit. And anyway, those are my thoughts on the CoverGirl Invisible Clean Concealer or whatever it's called. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already. And I'll see you next time. Bye!